Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. Okay, so if you are new to this um, channel or you have been watching my videos without um, subscribing, please subscribe so that you can get more of these um, videos. Now, how do we deal with this? Let's bring this to the left. So we have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 minus 4 equals 0. Because there's nothing on the right hand side again. Now, there's nothing common to these three terms. These two have something in common, but this does not have anything in common with the others. How do I deal with this? I have to break this middle term. Okay, so I'm going to have um, x squared minus here now. I want to have 2x squared plus x squared to stand for minus x squared. Okay, then we still have minus 4, right? Everything is equal to 0. So that's from here. We will group these two like this. Okay, this is x to the power of 3. Okay. Okay, let me copy that again. x to the power of 3 minus 2x squared plus x squared minus 4 equals 0. So this is what we are dealing with. Now, what do I do? I'm going to group these two and factorize. Then these two and factorize. Now, what is common to these two is x squared. So, x squared will come out as a common factor. Here, we have 1x. Then, minus 2x squared divided by x squared is 2. So that if you open the bracket, if you open the bracket, you will get this right back. Then, plus, on this side, we can have x squared minus 2 squared. Everything is 0. So that's from here we can apply difference of 2 squares. Now we have x squared into x minus 2. Then plus, if you apply difference of 2 squares here, then you will be having x plus 2 into x minus 2. And everything is 0. Now, there is something common. We have x minus 2 here. We have x minus 2 there. So the common factor is x minus 2. We factorize. Now, what is left here is x squared. Then this plus is coming here. Then the whole of this place, only x plus 2 is left. Then we equate everything to 0. We equate everything to 0 so that x minus 2 remains the common factor. Then here we have x squared plus x plus 2, the other factor. So since we are multiplying two terms to get 0, we believe that either of them is equal to 0. So x minus 2 equals 0 or x squared plus x plus 2 equals 0. From here, x will be 0 plus 2. Then our x is equal to 2. So this is the real solution to this problem. But then, we need to work on the second. Because from here, we are expected to have more solutions. We have x squared plus x plus 2 equals 0. So if that is the case, then we can apply the formula method. For the formula, we need the values of a, b, c. Our a is 1, our b is 1, and our c is the constant, which is 2. Now, what is the formula? x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac 
all over 2a. Now our x is equal to what is a? a is um okay minus b now is going to be minus 1 plus or minus then we have square root of b squared which will be 1 squared then minus 4 times 1 times 2 which is because a is 1 and um, a is 1 and um, c is 2 right then we divide by 2 times 1 so to go ahead our x will be minus 1 plus or minus then 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 2 is 8 then we divide by 2 okay so let's still go ahead so that x will be minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 7 then we divide by 2 now that we are having square root of a negative number, it means that we will not have a real solution from here. We are going to have um, an imaginary solution. But let's still keep going. So let me finish it here. We had um, x equals minus 1 plus or minus square root of negative 7 over 2. Now, how do we deal with this um, square root of negative number? x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 7 multiplied by square root of negative 1. Then we divide by 2. If you multiply this and this, it gives you square root of negative 7. Now our x is minus 1 plus root 7 times i over 2. Because square root of negative 1 is imaginary, so we write i for that. Now, we can multiply this so that this will not appear to be under the root. So, our x will now be minus 1 plus or minus. Okay, this is plus or minus. We have i root 7 divided by 2. So, this is a 2 in 1 solution. The solutions here are x equals minus 1 plus i root 7 over 2 or we have x to be equal to minus 1 minus i root 7 over 2. Okay, so from here we have two solutions which are imaginary. And then from the other side, we have the real solution to the problem. Thank you for watching to the end. And if you have not subscribed, what is the problem? If there is none, subscribe to my channel.